So I'm Georgia Theodosiadou. I recently graduated for my master's degree in Democritus University of Thras, and I will present you the multiple equivalent dipole inverse uh, electroencephalography. So the inverse problem, as you previously heard uh, in EEG, is uh, based on the assumption that uh, we have an initial source and we want to uh, end up having the, some original EEG measurements. Uh, uh, the goal, the main goal, is to find the source that, that actually generated the measurements that we have from a number of patients. So we evaluated this, uh, the tool that we developed in two cases. In the dyslexia case, we took the EEGs from two groups of, uh, of individuals. One presented dyslexia and the other not. Uh, we placed uh, some uh, dipoles on the cortex of the brain and we ended up with the, ampli with, with the dipoles that are shown in the figures, uh, where we can see the amplitude of uh, both the dyslectic one, uh, dyslectic group, and the non-dyslectic group. The, uh, the result is so that there's a big difference uh, um, between those two groups. And actually, this um, needs more interpretation in the means of uh, what actually does that mean. Uh, uh, we just created the tool, so we want to learn more what this actually means. And the, uh, another case study was that of the strokes. We took some um, EEGs from patients suffering from hemorrhagic or ischemic stroke, and we were able to discriminate the cases. We thought that we didn't know uh, what the stroke was, and uh, just uh, by uh, evaluating the dipoles, we tried to figure out if the patient had a hemorrhagic or an ischemic stroke. This is also went pretty well. As you can see, the red, the hemorrhagic stroke uh, showed a higher amplitude, whether the ischemic stroke had a lower amplitude in general. Um, that's all, and <laughs> for more questions, you can find me. Thank you. <laughs>